Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome. Happy Monday, everybody. I am so excited. It is my first Monday being a full-time reseller. Legit, no nursing, no nothing else, just reselling and you here on YouTube. So I am going to go over almost 100 items that sold since my last what sold, which was actually two weeks ago. So we have sold 100 items, close to $4,000. And I'm going to show you it all right now. We are going to do screen share. So this last time you'll see me for a little while. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. There are some really good profit items in here. And I hope you learn a lot. All right, so first I will show you guys, we are down 47% from last month. Now we have still done almost 10,000. And the coolest thing is for a week, we hit over $300. So that is really, really awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at these items that sold and I'm gonna go in the order that they sold. All right, so this, Carnival glass paperweight was only listed for a couple months. There are some superficial kind of scratches here, not anything noticeable. We paid $5 for this in a online auction lot. It sold for $27.99 plus the buyer paid $9.65 in shipping. You can see it was listed in September, so not too bad. Next, this one was only listed for two months. This is a very small, and I'll click here so that you can see. This was a very small silhouette, about five and a half inches. And I paid $5 for this at an in-person auction. And this one sold for $35. So this one after fees will leave us about an $18 to $19 profit. And again, listed in December, 2021. This is a Dodge Ram bandana. So I picked bandanas up for a dollar, sold for $7. It's about a $5 profit. It was listed in November. So it took about three months to sell. Nothing really fancy about this one here, just a plain Dodge bandana. Look at the title here, you'll see I put um, just figurine paperweight. It could have been like a pencil holder or something like that. I only paid $2 for this. It sold for $17.49. So this one is about a $14 profit. Next, another item that was only listed for two months. These are Pioneer Woman. So these are sold originally at Walmart, but don't let that fool you. They sell very, very well. You can see these were not used. They still had the stickers on them. I paid, I believe, $5. They sold for $24.49, making them about a $15 profit, and they sold really fast. And then this is a Nasos Keramic. And the reason I know that is because it says it right so if you wonder how I know some of how some of these things are or what they are, most of them are marked in some way. This one is really tiny as well. It's only four and a half inches, but this one sold for $20.99 and it sold in less than a month. Really, really fast seller. I paid $2. This one again is over a $15 profit. Now, this one was listed late November, so about two and a half months to sell. I paid $3 for this jean jacket, and it sold for $105. You can see the red mark through here. That is from one of my thrift stores. That is their boutique mark, which means I paid $3. And it does have a couple of stains. I want you to notice it does say read here in the title. And then if you scroll down, it says there are rust stains on the cuff and the back. Please look at the photos. So this one here was over an $80 profit. Next, this is an antique chrysanthemum ironstone pitcher. This one was marked, but it was really, really hard to read that mark. I actually did not decipher it. I do not spend a ton of time researching because I paid less than $5 for this. So if I can get a good profit, like it sold for $48, so it's about a $35 profit. I don't spend a ton of time worrying about that mark. And this one was listed in October, so about four months to sell. Next, this one was a really good sale. This one was a really pretty, like, 
flower Murano Millefiori glass. It was marked nine to five, you can see there. So I do try and get that when I take my photos. This one was an inch and a half. I paid five at Renninger's Antique Fair and it sold for $41.99 in about two months. This one was listed in December as well. So this one was about a $30 profit. And then this is a cloisonne bolo tie. I got this at Renninger's as well in a three for 10 table. Really, really pretty cloisonne you can see there. Now, this one was not marked on the back, but it had iris flowers. If you know what type of flowers are in it, I think that's really important to put it. So this one, we paid three, again, listed in December, sold in about two months, and it's about a $7 profit. This beautiful piece I got in a cart lot. I paid $5 for it. This style, if you see here, is called Jack in the Pulpit. This one is a pitcher and very, very pretty piece. I do make sure to take photos from all angles so that they can see there is no damage. You can see this one was eight inches tall and this one sold for $48.99. So it's about a $35 profit. It was listed in July. So this is one that did take about eight months to sell. And then this one I paid $1.99 for. You can see there's tons of writing all over the box. I just take a picture of it. I'm not going to take the time to get that off for $14. So this one was about a $10 profit. It is just a urgent response device. So it is basically for those who need help in case they fall or something like that. And this one was listed in December. So this one also sold in two months. And then this is a VHS, guys, VHS, but they're 50 cents or a dollar into seven. I am okay with that, about a $5 profit. This one is Teen Spirit, tribute to Kurt Cobain. Just caught my eye. I am in that kind of age range. I did listen to Kurt Cobain, so I was familiar with him. And it was listed in December, so this one also sold in two months. And then if you do not know this brand or this pattern, learn it. This is Old Country Roses by Royal Albert. There is your mark. It will be on the bottom of all of the pieces. I know that's a little bit blurry, but this vase was listed February 12th and it sold in under a month. Now I paid, I believe, three or four dollars for this. So it's about a seven dollar profit, but it sold very, very fast. Now I will tell you some of the teapots with this pattern sell upwards of a hundred to two hundred dollars. And then not all Avon is created equal, but Avon Cape Cod Ruby Red, which is what this is here, and it does say Avon there on the bottom. This one was listed February 4th, so it sold in under two weeks. We are less than a dollar in in a buyout, and it's about a $5 profit. And then this one you can list it on September 24th, 2020. So this one was listed about a year and a half. We are less than a dollar in. It sold for $7.36. Now with this vintage ephemera, because it typically sells lower dollar, I only take a picture of the front and the back. I do not take a picture of the inside, but I don't feel that that has slowed our sales down on those. And again, easy to photograph, easy to list, easy to ship, and I'm okay with quick $5 profit. This is another one I got from my friend Pepper. I paid a dollar each. This is actually a Walmart shirt, guys. It was on Walmart clearance. Paid a dollar to Pepper. It is about a $4 profit. Really easy to photograph, list, and ship. And I did sell two of them. All right. This is a swan. This one is Mansfield. You can see there again on the bottom, it is stamped. This one was listed in May. So this one was listed almost a year. And I paid a dollar for this. It sold for $15.87. So it's about a $12 profit. And then this one was listed in October. So about five months on this one to sell. I paid less than a dollar. So this one is about $11 profit. And then this one was too cute not to pick up. I got this for a dollar at the flea market. Really, really cute little trinket box. It was not marked. That's why I don't show the bottom. But I paid $1. It sold in two months for $19.49. So this one is about a $15 profit. 
sometimes I think once you're a little more experienced, you will learn what people like and you can pick up. But I would not suggest doing that when you're brand new because it's easy to make mistakes and end up with a bunch of stuff that won't sell. Another silhouette listed in December, so sold in two months. This one sold for $25.99. Again, I paid five. Now, this one I do zoom in because it is signed down here on the bottom. So you can see I saw I zoom in to show them that. And then I want to show the back because the paper is damaged. It also, I think, kind of shows the age. This one is six inches, paid five dollars. This one's about a $15 profit. And again, it sold in two months. And then this one was listed since August 2020. This one's here almost two years. Just a little plain turtle. It was not marked. And about a $3 profit. However, I was happy to have it go. This is a really pretty Satsuma ginger jar or urn. This one I paid $2. It sold for $25.99. So it's about an $18 profit. Again, you can see there is crazing here. That is the name of that for those of you that don't know. I do zoom in to show the crazing because I want them to see that. And there is the back. And then I'm also going to show the bottom and zoom in on that bottom. If you have a maker's mark, you want to show it. And I have been doing the last picture with the ruler, as you see here. This one is close to one foot tall. So not a bad sale. It was listed in August, so it did take about nine months. And then this vintage strawberry kiwi hand towel listed in November. So it took about three and a half months. But this is just a plain old towel, guys. You know, cute towel. You have to make sure you keyword it right. You can see I put strawberry hand towel, flower and heart, bouquet, and paid less than a dollar, sold for $9.74. So about a $7 profit. And then this is an Adidas Climb Proof wind jacket. This one was listed since 2019, guys, 2019, um, well over two years. And you can see here, it was a shirt from 2010. It did have the Apple. It is a Adidas Climb Proof. Wanting to show the maker's mark. You can see I do not show measurements in my listings. We might change that coming up here soon, but for now, I am okay with not showing them. This one I paid a dollar for at my little local thrift store and it sold for $13.83. So it's about a $10 profit. And then this is a beautiful Murano Tutti Frutti Latticino. So if you see the lattice looking there, that is where the lattice comes from. And then the Tutti Frutti is from all of the colors. This was an absolutely beautiful bowl. I believe I paid 20 or 25 for this. So I did pay up. It is about seven inches and this one sold for 129. So this one's about an $85 profit. It was listed in December. So it sold pretty fast for a high dollar piece in about two months. And then this is a really cute cloisonne teapot. I paid $5. It sold for $45.49. It did come in the box, so we are showing that. It comes with the original box. And then again, from all angles, this one was marked trade aid number 20, Maticot 1998. And then again, we are also showing the measurements. It is miniature, so you want to make sure that people know that something is miniature. And this one's about a $35 profit, and it sold in less than two months. Another silhouette. See a pattern here? So when I buy, I buy a lot. So we will sell a lot of the same type of thing in a short span. This one was listed in December, so about three months to sell. You can see here, I put Victorian, I put dress, I put watering flowers. I also put garden. So any descriptive word you can use that somebody might search for, definitely used it. I paid five. This one is about a $17 profit. And then my Ken Edwards Tanala. I am only about $5 into these. They are about a $14 profit. They were listed in January, so they sold in under two months. Again, front, side, back, and with the tape measure. Ken Edwards Tanala. I actually did not get the bottom of these, surprisingly. I normally do, but here's one time where I actually missed it, and they still sold, and they sold pretty short. So about a year and a half ago, I got 
lots of women's golf clothes. So I listed them all. Some sold really fast. And if you see here, this one was listed in August of 2020. So it took about a year and a half to sell. I was only 50 cents in though. So this is actually close to a $10 profit. All right, next is a longer burger basket. So if you recall, I bought a ton of these. I paid an average of $8. This one sold for $22. So it's about a $13 profit. I was in the profit though. I sold some higher dollar ones. I even sold a $120 one last week on Poshmark. They are signed, they are marked, and I do give the measurements. From what I've seen though, the ones with the tags and the ones with the lids tend to sell a little bit better. So this one was listed in December and took about two months to sell. And then this one I got in a big lot less than 50 cents in. It's about a $3.50 profit. It was listed in April, so it took almost a year to sell. But again, with these lots, I'm normally in the profit pretty fast. This was just like a little bracelet and a uh, package. This is not something I would ever pick up by itself, but when I get in a lot, again, I want to get the most I can out of those lots. And then this was cute. I only paid $1.99 for this at the thrift store. This one, it was hard to see on the bottom. Like you could, well, you could see it says send in the clowns there. This was a music box, about seven inches tall, paid $1.99. It was listed in September. So it took about eight months to sell, sold for $25.99 and is close to a $20 profit. And then this is a DVD. I'm not going to blow it up for you, but you can see front, back, that is it. Sold for $5. I paid a dollar. It's about a $3 profit. Another DVD, guys. So these were listed in April. They've been listed almost a year. I did make my money back really fast, but a lot of them are still here. So if you don't have room, I wouldn't recommend doing stuff like this, the bulk purchases, if you don't have room to store it because they can take a while to sell. So again, here, probably about a $2.50 profit. This one is really pretty. It's 11 inches. It's a carnival glass. I paid about $5. It sold for $38.99. So it's about a $28 profit. Again, taking from all angles, this one had some like kind of crinkling in the glass. Um, it wasn't actually a crack. It was just kind of in the finish, but I did want to zoom in and show that. And it did have a crack along the bottom here. So this would have sold for more had it not had that crack. It did not affect the integrity, so it would still hold water. And you can see here, please see photos. There are defects on the bottom and a crack on the bottom, but it does not affect the capability to hold water. So with all of these listings that you see, there is no description unless there is a flaw. And that is how I am able to list so many things fast. Next, another item in a lot. I bought a lot of bathing suits. There were some higher name brands that sold fast less than a dollar in. This one sold for $12.99. I listed it in July. I listed it in the summer. It did not sell until February. And this one is about a $10 profit. Now this one wasn't even name branded guys. It was not even name branded and it sold. So if they look nice, I will still list them. And then you guys know I love my handkerchiefs. Now I have been asked how I price them. I price them according to how they look. So you can see this one has got the beautiful kind of all over design, kind of a frilly border. I paid a dollar for this one and this one sold in less than a month for $16.24. So it's about a $14 profit. These are super easy to photograph, list and ship, which is what I like. Next, another longa burger basket, paid eight, sold for $32.49. Again, you will notice it has the liner and it does have the protector as well. So it, it is a three piece set. It is combo here on the bottom is where you would see that they are longa burger. And it also has the year. Again, I put the sizes and put protector, pumpkin patch and liner. I was able to identify that liner using Google Lens. So this one is about a $22 profit. Little Amberina blown she seashell. Excuse my rooster crowing. Again, every time I talk in here, he thinks he needs to be loud. So this one I paid five for. It sold for $32.49. So about a $24 profit. I did get this one at an antique mall. So 
this was a really nice pickup for low cost. It was listed in September though, so it did take about eight months to sell. If you could see my face right now, if you could see my face. These are some really pretty anchor hawking uranium. And you can see I show half the picture without it glowing, half with it glowing, and then I show all glowing and then all plain. I do have more of these if you guys are interested. I have four, or actually I have five left. So two of them sold for $12 each. I paid a dollar each for these. So they're about a $10 profit each. So this sale of two was about a $20 profit. And then this crue was in a box lot. So I'm actually less than a dollar in. It sold for 17. So it's about a $14 profit. Again, just pictures from all angles. This one was listed in 2020 now. This one was listed before I started doing the measurements, but I do have in the title that it was eight inches tall. And again, happy to be moving some of this older inventory out. And then this sold fast. I was surprised. You can see it was listed February 11th. It sold in under a week. So this one is nothing but a geode. It is just a geode slice. It does have the crack there. Now this could be used as a trivet or whatever they wanted it for, paperweight. Definitely show up close of the defects. And then if you look in the description, read one inch chip on back see photos so you want to make sure you put those defects i'm less than a dollar in this is a death pile item and it is about a 15 dollar profit and then this is another death pile item it's been here over a year was listed february 19th sold in under a week guys under a week i'm less than a dollar in over a $15 profit. It cannot sell if it is not listed. Just remember that. So this one is aluminum guardian wear. You can see here on the bottom, it does say guardian service. That is how you would be able to identify it. And some of these pieces do sell higher. Next, this was not a Dresden, I do not believe, but I did put Dresden style. And I am okay with that. This one was listed January 27th. So it sold in under a month for 65. I paid $5 for this and a lot. So here there was a sticker on this and I will show you guys. It says Tempo made in Mexico. I could not find anything else with that. So I did not use that in my title because I didn't feel like it would bring buyers. So this one's about a $50 profit and again, sold in under a month these you see three sold you will see them as we are coming less than a dollar in another death pile item that sold in under a week listed on valentine's day and they are about a nine dollar profit each but i cost average have the eight dollar cost this one sold for 1949 again liner and protector guys I think that's pretty key to selling these Longa Burger baskets. And it is marked on the bottom there. This one was from 1999 and is about a $9 profit. Next, this is probably the biggest sale that you are going to see. So this is Annie Glass. These are 24 karat gold rimmed from 1985. I got these in a buyout from Miss Thini. These sat in my death pile for over a year and a half and they sold in under a week. So $240 just sitting there because I had not listed it. So make sure you list what you have. These look like plain plates. What you need to notice with these is on the back, they are signed. So make sure to check stuff. You can see it says 1985 Annie Glass. And that right there made these worth over $200. And again, they sold in under a week after sitting in my death pile for a year. I am less than $5 and this is well over a $200 profit. So keep your eye out, watch for those signatures and yeah. Next, some yarn guys. I bought this up in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina when I was thrifting with Julian Bearded Thrift. And these sold for $45.49. I paid $3.99 for them at Goodwill. So they are about a $35 profit. So what I looked up when I was trying to see if these were worth it was I looked up Cascade and then I looked up Peruvian Wool. 
the color and the lot number is not as important if you're not able to find the exact one, but look up the brand and the type of yarn and that will give you an idea if it will sell. So this was a really good Next, product. this Mandalion, and I'm gonna show you what to look for on these. So this is a flapper purse. I am close to 40 to $50 in. So this is only about a $40 profit. It was one of the lower end, not overly impressive, but it was Mandalian. That is why it sold so high. Like this pattern just isn't very bright and vibrant. And here is where you can see on the inside of the purse, it says Mandalian USA. That is what you want to look for if you see purses that look like this, because the Mandalian brand sells for a lot higher than others. Now, one of the reasons it's sold high, if you see here, there are quite a few, or sold so low, is there are quite a few tassels that were missing and that does decrease the value. Now, this one was listed in July, so it sold in about eight months. Here's another hose faucet timer. I already showed you guys those. And this is a Wedgwood dish. Again, I bought a big lot, about $2 in. This one is about a five to $6 profit. It was listed in October, so it sold in about three and a half months. And just I did I did wash all these but some of the dirt stains did not want to come out and I know most people are surprised I actually washed anything all Wedgwood does say Wedgwood made in England I wanted to point that out and this one sold in about three months as well another DVD another three dollar profit LA Confidential again fast listing I can list 40 to 50 DVDs so if I list in an hour, that is $120 of profit once they sell. Another $3. Now, this is a VHS. This is not a combo unit. From what I've seen, mostly the combo units are what sells high that have like the DVD writer. But this one was only $5 at the thrift store. It sold for $38.98. It did take about eight months to sell, and it is about a $28 profit. And then I love Piano Babies. So I paid up for this. I paid over 50. It is about an 80 to $90 profit. This one was marked, guys. This one was marked here on the bottom. There is your marking. And this one was Ubok, which is one of the best brands. This one was around 1900 and a very, very good profit. It sold fast. It was listed January 1st, so it sold in under two months. And then we sold some jeans for $6. This is another QVC item that didn't move fast. So it's only about a $3 profit. This seahorse bracelet, I absolutely love. I paid $5 for this in a bracelet lot. It is about a $23 profit. Just a really, really pretty. Again, if you can keyword it, this is hammered copper. This was not marked at all. Not marked and still brought us a pretty good profit. And it was listed the end of December, so about two months as well. Another DVD, $3 profit last holiday. It's since 2020 and sold for $10. We were less than a dollar in. Again, with these jewelry lots, you're going to have stuff sell fast. You're going to have stuff sell slow. I let it sit there until it sells. This was listed almost two years, but it's about an $8 profit. And then this is a really pretty Chanel throw. I paid $4.99 for it at Goodwill. It is about a $28 profit. And you can see I zoom in close because you can kind of see the colors a little bit better there. And this one did take about eight months to sell. So blankets can take a little bit longer to sell, but they're really easy to photograph. That is just laying on the floor using a background remover. And then I just ship them in a big poly bag. This is another one, not branded guys this was not branded i paid five dollars for this it sold for 65 so it is about a 50 dollars profit i love peacocks and i feel like there are a lot of peacock collectors it was hand painted beautiful beautiful piece it does have the c clasp which indicates that it is older you can see there's damage on the back but this one sold pretty fast it was listed in october and sold in about three months for a great profit and then a cloisonne bell. I paid $3 for this one. It sold for $19.49 and it is about a $12 profit. This one was listed in December. So another item right at three months. 
this glass, look, listed February 19th, sold in two days. And this is not a branded frame. Really pretty with flowers, eight by 10. I am less than a dollar in. Another death pile item sitting here over a year that sold in under a week after being listed. And it is about a $15 profit. This turtle was here since 2019, and this went to a viewer um, $4 on less than a dollar in, about a $3 profit. Happy it is at a new home. This was a really, really good flip. So this was from George the Antique Nomad. I paid $5. It sold for around $60. You can see it says 100% Merino lamb's wool, and it's got flowers imprinted. It was really hard to capture that on photo, but I still put it here, floral blanket fringe, and this is about a $45 profit. It sold in under a week. This is pet pottery. This one took about a year to sell, unfortunately. I'm not sure why, because it's a really pretty piece. I got it at the thrift store for $4, so it's about a $12 profit. It was just really, really cool. I thought like an incense burner. It was marked Peck Alaska. So I did have a mark, but again, still this one took a little bit longer to sell. And then look at this glove, guys. $136 sale. I got it at the flea market for $5. So this is well over a hundred dollar profit. You can see here it says type F flare design. You can look that up on look that up on eBay. Now here is the Pro Flare series professional pattern. More stuff you can use to look it up. And here is the model number FLS eleven fifty. So great pickup for only five dollars, and it sold in right at about eight months for over a hundred dollar profit. Here is an antique Arthur Wilkinson pitcher. This one sold for 50. I am less than five in. This is another one with quite a bit of crazing due to age, but that is expected. Just make sure you show it in the pictures. And here is the bottom of this one showing AJ Wilkinson, England. So this one's about a dollar profit and it did take about eight or nine months to sell. This one, Pottery Barn, this was over a $50 profit. This was a really cool piece. I did identify it using Google Lens, and it is just really, really nice. So the this is a glass ball that sits in there, and this one sold in about two months. And then this is Dollhouse Furniture, sold for $9.74. I'm less than a dollar in, so about a $7 profit, but this thing is under two inches, guys. It's under two inches. So easy to photograph, so easy to ship. Here is what you are looking for. Tomi Made in Japan will be on the bottom of these. They are marked, and this is a well-known brand. If you see these, especially if you see a bag of them cheap, pick them up. And then that same buyer bought this set, which is also Tomi. So again, here's the bottom of that couch, says Tomi in Japan. And these sold really fast. They were listed January 24th. They sold in under a month listed in August, so about eight months to sell, but it is over a hundred dollar profit. There is the bottom UU, and I was, when I searched for UU, I found out UU was from Neiman Marcus. That's why I used that in my title, and again, over a hundred dollar profit. Just too cute, guys. People love Yorkies, people love puppies, and this is just a cute one. Sold in under two months as well. I only paid $12 for this at Renninger's, and it is over close to a $100 profit, and it sold in under two months. So this one is called Champlevé. It is similar to Coisonne, but it kind of has the end cut here. And I just learned about this recently. This was a very nice profit. Blue Carnival Glass, listed about eight months, paid a dollar, about a $7 profit on that one. This is not something I would pick up by itself. This one is Liberty Bell, but it wasn't a lot I bought. This one took almost two years. I was so sad. I love Joseph Bauer Pottery. He is one of my favorite potters. I think this is an amazing piece, and I just do not see how it took so long. Got it for a couple of dollars. It's about an $8 profit. Glad it's in a new home, but I, I'm sad. It I felt like it wasn't appreciated there. Next, this one sold fast, under a week. This is Shaman Mix. This one I paid less than a dollar. It is over a $25 profit. It is just like a skiing headband. 
Not sure why these sell high. It was made in France. That could possibly be why you can see here made in France. I had one other of these and it sold just as fast as well. So keep your eye out for those. And this little rooster, this little rooster is two inches. He was signed and I paid less than a dollar for him. He's about a $15 profit. Really, really cute. Don't pass up the miniatures because there are some miniatures that are worth quite a bit of money. X-Lax pens, guys. X-Lax pens sold for $32. I paid a dollar with George the Antique Nomad at his estate sale. These sold in under a week. I think they sold in a day. And they are over a $25 profit. And then this snapper hat. Now this one did take about nine months, but I only paid a dollar for this. And this is about a $20 profit. Hats are something I absolutely love to get because you can list them really easy. They're really easy to ship and they are good profit. You can find them for a dollar quite a bit at yard sales. Here is a cloisonne crab, paid $2. This one was not marked. This one sold for $19. It's about a $15 profit. These are some stangle plates. The last of my stangle, I bought a whole set for $60. So I'm about $2 into this. And it is about a $18 profit. These did take about nine months to sell as well. This one sold fast. Another item less than a week sitting in my death pile. Royal Caribbean International. This was a fanny pack. Paid less than a dollar, sold for $19.49, $15 profit. Watch for kind of the souvenir destination type things, guys. They will sell. This is a little sterling silver pendant with the flowers in it. I paid five, so this one's about a $12 profit. Just absolutely beautiful. Again, I try and show where it says 925 on it, and this one sold in about two months. And then we sold a Wedgwood plate. Not overly valuable again, but I bought them in a lot, paid to this about a $4 profit. And this one sold in about four months. This Royal Albert took about eight months. I think it took so long because it is only the teacup. Royal Albert is an absolutely amazing brand. I just did not have the saucer to go with it. And I think it takes the right buyer to want just the teacup without the saucer. So this one's about a $14 profit. And then this little clayfish, again, another item in a lot, paid a dollar, sold for $9.74. He's about a $7 profit. He sold in a month. He sold fast. I was surprised at that one. Now, these I offered up on a live sale. Somebody said I was charging too much. They sold for $45.49. I paid $10 for these. This is about a $28 profit, but I think these are absolutely beautiful with the beads and the Thunderbird on them, and they sold in under again, under a month. There's another Orbit. All three sold within a week. Now, this was on my desk. This one is Nibro. Really pretty dolphin paperweight. There is a sticker saying Nibro. I paid $5 for this. It sold for $25.99. So it is about an $18 profit. And last is another DVD. We will end with another DVD. So another $3 profit. All right. That is everything. That was almost 100 items. Isn't that crazy? 100 items. My hair is like all messy. Um, so yeah, $4,000 almost in sales, $2,000 in profit. All of these items were buy it now. I get asked all the time. All of these were buy it now. I will occasionally run auctions, but 99% of my stuff is buy it now. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a happy Monday. I will be live tomorrow night with Julian, my co-host, as well as my good friend, Joe Philly Picker, along with his good friend, Mike at January House. So I am really excited to have these guys on. I look forward to tomorrow night. We are live every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the live reseller chat show. We answer your questions and you get to hang out with other resellers in the chat. So make sure and come join us if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support from my video, letting you guys know that I quit nursing. And I'm sorry I made you cry. I know I made a lot of you cry. So I'm sorry for that. And I do want to reiterate, I will not be changing my name because I went to a lot of school and I'm still a nurse, even if I'm not practicing. So I am still the nurse flipper. That will not change. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. I hope you had a great weekend. Bye, guys.